okay i can start now so today in to today's session we are going to talk about environmental pollution and this is the topic of discussion friends as we know that there are different types of pollutions and the concept of pollution is not new for all of us we all are facing the problem of pollution and we all are aware with the problem of pollution because every day we come across with any type of pollution in our day life it may be water pollution it may be soil pollution it may be sound pollution it may be noise pollution it may be you know air pollution as such anyhow we have to come across with this kind of pollution in a day schedule if i'm not wrong so friends in today's session we are going to talk about the concept of pollution then different types of pollutions also we are going to discuss even we are not going to see the types of pollutions only we are going to see the causes of pollution and even we are going to find out some solutions to uh, avoid pollution so in this particular session i'm going to talk like this and it will take two, two three lectures most to complete because there are different types of pollutions and we are going to cover each and every type of pollution in today's session okay so uh, let me ask you one question before sharing my screen uh, what do you mean by pollution let me know the concept of pollution let me know the concept of pollution so this is what uh, i would like to ask you one question so what is the concept of pollution or do you know something about pollution come on answer the questions pollution means what according to you pollution means what come on answer the questions hello can you hear me or not boys and girls can you hear me hello और इट्स माय ड्यूटी टू टॉक ओनली फक्त मीच बोलायचं का तुम्ही बोलणार नाही का हॅलो वॉट डू यू मीन बाय पोल्युशन बॉयज अँड गर्ल्स कमॉन आन्सर द क्वेश्चन अरे यार नो बडीज आन्सरिंग शुड आय स्टॉप द लेक्चर ऑफ वॉट शुड आय स्टॉप द लेक्चर इफ यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू आन्सर द क्वेश्चन येस मॅम pollution means undesirable uh, uh, movements in environment correct undesirable movements in environment correct answer amit has given only amit is talking others are just keeping mum i i'm having a doubt whether you all are, you all are listening or not i don't know or you just you know keep it on and uh, go somewhere is it like that or what no don't do like this okay we are going to start your session please once again allow me to share your sure uh, share my screen So I'm here to share my screen and uh, let me know whether my screen is visible or not. Is it visible? Yes, sir. Okay. So I'm talking about environmental pollution today. The topic that I have chosen for the purpose of discussion is environmental pollution. So in this particular lecture, we are going to talk about different types of pollution. Pollution is nothing but what when some undesired or uh unexpected pollutants are involved or in uh, you know included in the atmosphere then atmosphere becomes hazardous atmospheres uh, atmosphere become dangerous for all of us or human beings it becomes pollution the so pollution is not a different concept as such it is not made by the god pollution is created by we people and for the pollution we people are responsible remember one thing so whatever pollution we see around us those pollutions also we are going to see so in this particular lecture i am going to talk about the definition of pollution even i am going to talk about types of pollutions air pollution water pollution noise pollution uh, land pollution and the last one that is radioactive pollution so we are going to highlight all these types of pollutions in this particular uh, agenda and uh, no doubt it will not uh, be finished within one or two lectures it will take three four lectures more so one by one i'm going to cover each and every aspect of pollution so starting with the concept of uh, concept and definition of pollution let me tell you the definition of uh, pollution as well as i'm going to talk about the types of pollution already types of pollutions are taken here those are air pollution water pollution noise pollution land pollution which is also called as soil pollution radio radioactive pollution this will be a little bit new for you all so we come across with these kind of pollutions but the concept of pollution is not new for all of us we know the 
pollution, but we don't do not know the pollution mean what. What does it mean by pollution? That also we don't know. So I am trying to tell you the concept of pollution through this particular one. As far as the definition of pollution is concerned, when harmful, harmful means what? Not suitable for the human health, which are harmful, which are injurious to human health. This is what it is called as harmful. The harmful substances contaminate the environment. It is called pollution. When harmful substances are included or involved. in the atmosphere is called as or environment is called as pollution pollution is nothing but what the things which are not good for health and for living of uh, human beings in the on the planet earth and if those things are included in the environment it becomes pollution remember pollution is not something different that you know god has made we guys have made the pollution pollution refers to the very bad condition of environment in terms of quantity and quality as far as another definition is concerned here they have given the meaning of word pollution in a different manner what is that manner <clears throat> here they have said <coughs> pollution is the condition which is not good condition which is a bad condition or very bad condition of what environment in terms of what quantity and quality so when we want to talk about the bad or very bad condition of the environment in terms of quantity and quality it becomes pollution so two definitions of pollutions we have taken here definition number 1 when harmful substances or pollutants are involved or included in the environment it is called as pollution and the second one is what pollution refers to the very bad condition of the environment in terms of quantity and quality when condition becomes very bad in terms of what quantity and quality of the environment it becomes pollution so these are the two definitions of pollutions which we have seen today and moving on to the next one and there we are going to see the types of pollutions there are five types of pollutions which we are going to see as far as pollutions are concerned these are the major uh, types of pollutions which we have taken here there are other types of pollutions also but we are not going to cover those uh, types of or minor types of pollutions we are going to cover only major types of pollutions and those are air pollution water pollution noise pollution land pollution radioactive pollution so these are the five types of pollutions which we are going to see in upcoming lectures and these are the types of pollutions which are the part and parcel of your syllabus if i'm not wrong so friends starting with the first one and that is air pollution what is air pollution at as far as when some harmful or injurious substances are involved or the part of air it becomes air pollution whatever year we people are getting whatever year we are getting for uh, respiration purpose is not you know that much clean not not that much healthy because some harmful substances are involved harmful substances are there in the air and when such kind of air we get it becomes air pollution so air pollution is nothing uh, nothing but what when harmful substances are included involved or the part and parcel of air it becomes air pollution remember one thing mostly the air that we get in cities like metro cities of india that is you know polluted air when if we want to take the example of most polluted country of the india is what delhi delhi is the most polluted country the high pollution rate is very high over there government has also trying to take some efforts trying to take some measures to reduce the pollution but it is not in control which is which is not in under control so what are the reason there are so many reasons which we are going to see in this particular lecture at the same time before going to see the uh, advantages disadvantages advantages are not there for pollution anyhow there are no advantages for pollution but there are certain drawbacks there are some you know uh, what we call it causes and effects and so on before that we are going to understand the concept of air pollution in a detailed manner so what is atmosphere we guys have seen the concept of atmosphere in first two three lectures i still remember so there is no need to you know explain it again atmosphere is the life blanket of earth remember we can also call it atmosphere is the life jacket of the earth as we know that you know atmosphere saves the entire life on the earth if atmosphere is not there you can imagine in atmosphere different layers are there and out of those layers the most important layer is what 
ozone layer that we guys have seen so different layers are there and those layers are protecting the life on the planet earth so it is a life jacket it is a life blanket you can say instead of saying you know a uh, jacket we can say blanket is a broader one so atmosphere is the life blanket of the earth and this blanket protect us from so many hazardous and dangerous things which are coming from the sun which are coming outside which are co coming from different sources so this is what atmosphere is called as what uh life blanket of the earth then it is therefore essential that we know more about the atmosphere and the way in which it is polluted when atmosphere is polluted it becomes air pollution remember thing, one thing because from the atmosphere means what atmosphere only we get air we get air for respiration purpose right so once the atmosphere is polluted it can be called as air is polluted because air is the part and parcel of what atmosphere if i'm not wrong air is considered safe when it contains no harmful dust and gases when we call it air is safe healthy and good for the health when these kind of harmful dust and gases are not the part and parcel of air if you go to villages and if you go to rural areas there you can see the fresh air clean air and no dust and no gas air but if you visit cities if it is a small city or if it is a big city doesn't matter at all <clears throat> if you visit a city you can see the air which is called as polluted air because in cities you know number of vehicles are more industries are there you know companies are there and these companies and these industries they are contributing even vehicles are also contributing in air pollution so this is the concept of pollution or air pollution what you guys have to remember when atmosphere is polluted it is called as air polluted in precise manner or in a brief manner or in another manner if we want to define it then when harmful dust and gases are included or are in are contained in the air is called as what air pollution i hope you guys have understood the concept of air pollution in a thorough manner now we are going to understand the causes of air pollution why air pollution is taking place why there is air pollution and who are the responsible ones what are the you know responsible people what are the respond uh, responsible you know pollutant we can call it who are the pollutants who are polluting the air so we are going to understand what are the causes of air pollution there are so many causes of air pollution out of those few of them i have noted down if you want to go through this you can go through that but at the same time i'm going to explain you and these are the main culprits these are the main you know major sources of air pollution so what are they and which are they just have a look number 1 industries industries are the main and important source of uh, air pollution they are the main pollutant they are the main culprit how because they you know uh, provide or they contribute in huge number in terms of gases in terms of you know what we call it uh, their exhaust they have their exhaust for the purpose of sending it out so their exhaust they are contributing a lot and uh, because of that uh, i think we guys are facing the problem of air pollution if you take an example of baramati in mrdc area nowadays in every city mrdc is there and they are contributing in terms of what pollution so those industries they are creating uh, uh, through their exhaust air pollution is highly uh, you know, sorry air pollution is there or air pollution is created so industries industries are the most and important uh, and major source of air pollution if i'm not wrong then automobiles and domestic fuels whatever fuels we are using for the purpose of automobile vehicles and domestic purpose nowadays we people have stopped using fuel for domestic purpose we are using lpg that is okay i think in olden days or in i think 10 or 15 years back people used to go for kerosene for domestic uh, cooking purpose but nowadays they stopped automobiles and domestic fuels are the uh, another pollutants or another you know content and the major sources of 
pollution or air pollution then high proportion of undesirable gases such as sulfuric dioxide sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide so see when we use vehicles when we go for such kind of you know industries and all those industries are contributing in terms of high proportion of undesirable gases such as sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide if we run our vehicle on the road automatically that vehicle generate or creates carbon dioxide which is a pollutant for air then dust that is cement dust foundry dust and wind blown soil dust so dust is the main and important source i think from last one and a half a year we are not getting affected because of the dust as we guys are using mask but now we we have stopped using mask so again we may get affected with the dust problem so dust in dust what is there remember in dust not only you know soil dust is there this dust includes cement dust foundry dust and wind blown soil uh, solid solid dust so these are the dust which are creating problems for all of us how it is because uh, through our respiration we take inside what whatever dust around us we take inside our body and that creates problems for your lungs and you know uh, uh, heart also so this is what this kind of dust is very dangerous and this dust is polluting the air then mist smoke i think you guys have seen the smoke of this car if you look at this car smoke then uh, uh, smoke exhausts are there for the most of industry they are also contributing then carbon black as we know that aerosols means the uh, uh, you know so small small dust which are created from the tires of the car vehicles so those are also the part of uh, causes of air pollution so here we have seen the causes of air pollution i hope you guys have understood so because of these reasons air pollution is taken place and uh, when we want to talk about the major sources so these are the major sources of air pollution remember then effects of air pollution what is going to happen what happens if air pollution is there that we are going to see because of air pollution these are the changes which are happening nowadays we all are facing so many issues we all are have different diseases in early ages also what are the reasons pollution is the reason remember air pollution is the reason because we go for or we do respiration every day and uh, through that if uh, air is not fresh if air is not healthy then we may have certain health issues health problems and um, you know for every source of problem what is the cause that is the pollution pollution is the only cause whatever it is whether it is water air or noise or anything so as far as this effect of air pollution are concerned the effects are or the effects are the air pollution affects on what human health as we know that human health is the issue of nowadays people are taking care of themselves but it is not in control people are having different health diseases they have health problems and health issues because of air pollution that they come across in a day schedule once we start you know getting for the office once you get out or step out from the house for the purpose of office from that moment onward we start getting polluted so health is the issue and whatever pollution we guys are facing in a day that is directly going to have again going to affect on your health remember so this is what we need to work on and we need to understand the effects of pollution on our uh, individual health also then only we will be able to uh, reduce it then even animals are also affected by the air pollution even we have seen that certain animals are dead because of the air pollution because they do not bear that sort that much amount of pollution their body is not that much comfortable with to bear that much amount of pollution and we have seen so many uh, even animals they died because of the air pollution plants even plants are also facing some problem in terms of their growth and all and uh, they also have some problems then atmosphere as a whole entire atmosphere is facing the problem of air pollution so whatever air pollution we create in a day that is directly going 
to affect or create an impact on atmosphere atmosphere includes it's a wide concept as i told you earlier so it is going to affect on atmosphere without fail because of air pollution global warming is you know increasing day by day we uh, you know do not have any season we can see rain in any season now we can see rain in rainy season we can see rain in winter and we can see uh, rain in even summer also why it is happening it is happening because of i think air pollution if i would like to i think here i would like to give you an example i think the last march 2020 lockdown is declared and that was there for it was it was rigorous for june 2020 it was rigorous for four months so i think you guys have uh, experienced that in the month of june rain uh, come very early it was very proper it was very up to the mark because from march to june there were no pollution there were no pollution because there were no vehicles on the road and this is what the monsoon was on time monsoon was sufficient and enough one but this year when we again reopened then we started facing the same issues which were facing in the past so this is what uh, global warming has created some you know uh, problems for the human beings then ozone layer depletion as i told you early in the morning or today session ozone layer is going to you know are going to get more weak and weak weaker day by day because of the pollution and if we do not take care of ozone layer we will start getting some skin related diseases skin cancer and all acid rain already we guys have talked about various respiratory illness i think uh, because of air pollution most of the people they are getting heart attacks because air pollution air pollution directly attacks on heart because uh, through air we get small uh, small small particles of stones small small particles of soil even cements also we take into the body and that particular you know those particular particles will make some or acquire some uh, space of heart space of uh, vein and that will be dangerous and because of that people are getting respiratory illnesses such as you know paralysis then heart attack and so on so, so this is happening because of the air pollution then how to avoid air pollution what are the source what are the ways to avoid air pollution those we are discussing now if we would like to avoid air pollution how it can be possible just a minute okay so if i would like to avoid air pollution what can be done it is up to we people only whether to increase the pollution or whether to reduce the pollution because as i told you we people are responsible we people are you know not taking proper care and because of that it is going to happen if we want to make it uh you know you, if we want to reduce definitely we can and for that few things to be done and those are noted down here if we would like to reduce the air pollution certain phandas are here certain mantras are here that i am giving to you all mantra number 1 use natural gases like lpg liquefied petroleum gas cng etc instead of using petrol diesel and other you know fuel go for natural gases such as lpg and cng nowadays people they have started using cng vehicles instead of petrol and diesel there is one reason behind that and reason is what because the prices of petrol are touched to the sky and this is what people they have started using the cng vehicles but if we use cng vehicle or lpg vehicle or natural gas gases then it will be good it will not contribute in air pollution it will be a part of what zero emission next do not brush crackers we know that we celebrate diwali and festivals with crackers and we brush uh, sorry brush crackers during those days i don't know what sort of uh, uh, what to what to do we feel those days by cracking the uh, cracking the sorry by brushing the crackers so this is not good if we bust crackers no it will contribute a lot in lot in air pollution that we know that if you look at the smoke that is uh, there or that is generated through crackers 
it is very very dangerous if you look at that and this is what we should stop um, breaking the crackers if you stop breaking the crackers automatically we, we can contribute something in reducing air pollution and i hope you will take care of this in next diwali and you will ask your friends and you know even for your uh, small brother and sister to not to crack and not to break the crackers during diwali or any festival but we you know we people are we people we never amount of fuel for vehicles how it is possible yes it is possible how that i will tell you use of fuel how suppose you all are traveling suppose you all are coming to college and uh, suppose there are four people that are coming from one particular street or one particular road they stay in one particular you know area so instead of getting your own bike for the college do one thing uh, suppose there are four people and they are getting four bikes to college every day so instead of uh, coming by separate bike why don't you come with two bikes only that can be done suppose you are coming with car so instead of getting your four cars cars every day to the college then get only one car so that way you can do and that can be called as what car pulling or bike pulling you can save petrol you can save uh, you know you can save uh, petrol you can protect environment also when four cars coming uh, comes on the road what will happen automatically pollution level will increase petrol consumption petrol consumption will increase and if we get only one car for one four 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 people then the emission or the pollution of three cars will be reduced even the petrol consumption of three cars will be automatically reduced that we can do even you can do the same things for coming to college also if you are having a bike ask your friends to come with you or you go with your friend or alternate day you get your bikes no you can save your money and you can save or you can contribute something in reducing air pollution so this is what you guys have to do then avoid using use electronic stoves as we know that go for biogas they are asking instead of going for electronic stoves i think they we used to go for we used to go for that in earlier days but nowadays nobody is using electronic stoves people are going for uh, you know lpg and uh, even cng is also available and uh, in rural areas people are going for biogas so this one is a good one so these are the ways to avoid air pollution if i'm not wrong so this way i think uh, we guys have taken the concept of air pollution here now we are going to see the next type of pollution which is called as water pollution look at the river what we guys have done with the river look at this whether it is a river or a dumping station we cannot understand this and uh, we want to stop this as we know that in india we you know respect rivers we assume that rivers are the goddess we worship for the river but we do not take the river do not take care of the river we need to take care and uh, here if you look at this picture or if you look at this image you can understand what sort of water pollution we guys are doing every day and we want to avoid this how it can be avoided it can be avoided by taking some efforts how any physical temperature ox uh, oxygen chemical mercury or biological disease sewage change to water that adversely affects its use by alive beings water pollution means what when water is not what not in that condition to drink water pollution means what water is is in not that condition to drink means water if water is not in not drinkable then we can say water is polluted so here we are going to understand the concept of water pollution when we include when we add some hazardous pollutant in the water it becomes water pollution and we all are doing everything in the water only hum sab kuch water mein dal dete किसी की अस्थियाँ हो वहाँ पे हम उसको विसर्जित कर देते हैं भगवान की माला हो वहाँ पे हम लेके जाके विसर्जित कर देते हैं का ही अशुद्ध है अपन तिक पाने तो नहीं टाकते पाने के बाहर टाकते तो नहीं क्या पर हम पाने टाकले कि क्या होता पुण्य मिलता सब लेक गैरसमज है एंड पुण्य मिलत नहीं उलट पानी खराब होता है नहीं तो दुसरे न त्रास होता सो फगेट अबाउट दैट यू नो 
and uh, take care of water and uh, we are going to understand the concept of water pollution here when water is called water polluted when we add some uh, substances which are uh, hazardous which are dangerous which are not good or which are which will create drinkable whatever water dangerous those then those can be or that can be called as water pollution if you look at the picture you can understand the concept of water pollution and how we guys are doing with water pollution especially we are doing with uh, this with uh, you know uh, big rivers of india ganga jamuna godavari then saraswati so we all are doing everything if you visit pandarpur you can see how people are uh, you know uh, doing something wrong with the river if you visit ganga and godavari you can see how people are uh, doing something wrong with the river पहले हम बोलते थे गंगा पवित्र है अभी पवित्र नहीं रही गंगा पे सो दिस इज द फैक्ट ऑफ वाटर पोल्यूशन लुक एट दिस कॉजेस ऑफ वाटर पोल्यूशन अबाउट फोर्टी परसेंट ऑफ डेथ वर्ल्ड वाइड आर कॉज बाय वाटर वॉट एवर डिजीज वी गेट रिमेम्बर वॉट एवर डिजीज वी गेट दैट वी गेट विथ द वॉटर सगले जे आजार है पानी होते लक्षा ठेवा दूषित पानी चांगा नहीं दूषित पानी वॉटर पोल्यूशन इज कॉज बाय ऑर्गेनिक एंड इनऑर्गेनिक इंडस्ट्रीयल वेस्ट and influence discharged into rivers and what we do we uh, you know discharge industry water or industrial waste water into the river what will happen it will cause the livings into the water noise also causes anxiety stress reaction and fight so noise whatever noise is there that also causes anxiety and stress reaction and fight so these are the causes of water pollution i hope i think only a few minutes are left and uh, i would like to take a break here tomorrow we are going to talk about another type of pollution i think water pollution pictures you can see this it's very you know we cannot see this kind of pictures see these are the effects of water pollution if we discharge industry water into the river we have seen so many fishes which are dead because of uh, industry water and uh, because of this kind of things people are getting diseases like cholera malaria typhoid and aquatic life gets destroyed so these are the effects of uh, water pollution how the water pollution can be avoided it can be avoided by doing this kind of activities river should not be used for washing clothes or bathing anim an animals etc as we know that we use river than even canals also i have seen so many times baramati people they use canals for washing clothes and bathing animals and uh, washing cars and their vehicles harvesting of rain water to meet water requirements rain water harvesting is must one and it is compulsory for cities now it should be compulsory for small cities like baramati also dams and embankment must be created dams should be created and through that we can save the water we can store the water the rivers must not be contaminated so river should not be you know uh, polluted should not be contaminated and in rivers dead bodies should not be thrown i think in ganga it happens most of the people they go for a stivi surgeon they go for they throw dead bodies in the river which is not good by throwing dead body in the river we cannot get you know we won't get pavitra or holy so whatever is the procedure to destroy the bo get dead body that can be done instead of throwing into the water and if we throw into the water we pollute the water so these are the things and through uh, doing this we can avoid water pollution so this is for auto pollution and i take a break here tomorrow we are going to talk about noise pollution and uh, i will also talk something about water pollution again so this is for my second lecture today i end up my session here with your kind permission before 3 minutes so thank you very much for attending this session i take a break and uh, i'll get back for my lectures tomorrow at 11 o'clock sharp So I stop my presentation and I'll get back to my home screen. Okay, boys and girls, thank you very much.
Thầm bây chứ cái Thầm bây chứ Yes sir Ok, bye bye, lưu tên mình đi